Hello everyone, welcome again to FN Engineering channel. Today, we are going to continue regarding cell and tube pit exchanger arrangements. Previously, we have discussed cell and tube pit exchanger type or arrangement based on TMA standard. If you don't see yet the video, you may visit the video first. The link video has given in the description. Before we continue, please support this channel by like this video and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification if this channel gives you a new experience. Alright, in this video, I would like to describe the shell and tube heat exchanger arrangement based on Heat Exchanger Institute or HEI standard. The classification of cell and tube heat exchanger are grouped into five parts of cell and tube. They are tube side closure arrangements, both in the front head and rear head tube side closure arrangement for real head only cell arrangement not like in TMA type in heat exchanger institute type is adding classification for the stationary tube seat arrangement and floating or peg tube seat arrangement for detail I like to explain in the next slide first of all tube side closure it can be in the front head or rear head there are three types of closure there are type C type B and type R type C is multi channel cover if we see the TMA type it is similar to TMA type A C or type N in the front head and type L or N in the rear head the next type is type B type B is an integral channel cover or bonnet head it is like type b in the tma standard in the front head or type m in the rear head the last type is type r or channel using reducer this type is not identified in tma standard now turn on to the tube side closure for rear head only there are three types namely type p type F and type U type P is peg channel cover it is similar to type P in the TMA standard then type F is a floating head the type is typical with type S type T and type W the last type is type U or YouTube cell and tube it is also similar to type U in the TMA standard the next arrangement is shell arrangements there are six types for the shell the first type is type e for one pass shell it is also type e in the tma standard then type t is for two passes shell or type f in the tma standard for split flow is identified by type s it is similar to type g or h in the tma standard then type D is for divided flow or similar with type J in the TMA standard. The next type is type X for cross flow shell. It is the same type if we see the TMA standard. And the last type is type K for cattle heat exchanger. For cattle heat exchanger. There are two configuration for type K. It is with one reducer and two reducers. The next slide is identification for tube seat. The first is the stationary tube seat arrangement. It can be in the front head or rear head. There are four types of stationary tube seat arrangement. First is type 1. It is using a gasket on both sides, tube side and cell side. Type 2 is tube seat integrated with tube side and using a gasket in the cell side. Type 3 is the opposite of type 2 lastly is type 4 in this type the tube seat is integrated with both side tube side and cell side the last arrangement are for floating and peg tube seat they are for rear head only including type 5 type 6 type 7 and type 8 these types are also equivalent to tma type in the rear head arrangement Type 5 is equivalent to type T in the TMA standard. In this type, 
The tube bundle can be pulled through including a floating head. The other type is type 6 or type S in the TMA standard. In this type, the floating head uses a backing ring to prevent leakage between the shell side and the tube side. The next type is type 7 or type P. This type is using one peg in the cell side, meanwhile in the tube side integral with tube seat. The last type is type 8 or type W. In this type, the tube seat uses egg in both cell side and tube side and using lantern ring. Alright, in the next material, I like to show the possibility of the arrangement of cell and tube with exchangers. First of all, we pair the arrangement using a stationary tube seat and YouTube. We start from the front head. All types of tube set closure front head can be paired with all the stationary tube seat arrangement in the front head, cell arrangement, stationary tube seat arrangement in the rear head, and tube set closure rear head. Meanwhile, for the shell arrangement using a YouTube is not required stationary tube seat arrangement in the rear head because the YouTube only has one tube seat. So, the YouTube only consists of four parts that are tube set closure in the front head, stationary tube seat in the front head, cell arrangement and tube set closure with type U. The second arrangement is for floating or peg tube seat. For detail, you can see this diagram. So, you can know the possibility of the pairs of each type of front head, shell, rear head, and the tube seat. In general, the front head closure, secondary tube seat, and cell arrangement can be paired with each other. Meanwhile, for floating or peg tube seat, can only be paired with certain tube closure rear heads. For example, Type 7 can only be paired with type P, type B, or type R. Type 8 can only be paired with type C, type B, or type R. Moreover, type 5 and type 6 can only be paired with type F or floating head. In the next slide, I like to show the example of the shell and tube assembly with it is in situ type arrangements. The first or the in the top example, the front tube seat closure uses bolted cover, it is type C. Then the tube seat uses a gasket on both sides or type 1. Next, the cell is one pass shell or type E. Then it uses a floating tube seat. We see that there is a floating head and the floating tube seat is extended as flange. So the tube seat type is type 5 and tube side closure is type F. So the heat exchanger institute type is C1E5F. Next, we go to the second example. We see that the front closure stationary tube seat and shell arrangement is the same as the first example. The stationary tube seat is integrated with the tube side and use single peg or it is type 7. Then the rear head closure use peg channel cover or type P. So the number 2 is the stationary type C1E7P. The last, is, the last example is the front head is the bolted cover, the gasket on both sides, cell arrangement is two paces, stationary tube seat uses lantern ring, and pack both sides, and the rear head is bonnet cover. So the heat exchanger institute type is C1T8E. Alright, 
we are going to another example. There are four study cases arrangement in these examples. In order to give an opportunity for everyone, I give you the opportunity to answer the heat exchanger institute arrangement in this slide. You can give your answer in the comment column. Thank you. Now, turn on to other type namely ESME, UHX type, or and special type or hairpin heat exchanger type. But for this type, I will describe in the next video. Inshallah. Alright, everyone, thank you for watching my video. If you have some comments or suggestion, please write on the comment column. And if you get something new from this video, please like my video subscribe to my channel, share this video or channel to others, and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time.